And if I told you once, I ain't gonna tell you twice. Salute all my real ones. Yeah! Listen, champ, we got the story of Jason Tatum and his rise to stardom. Uh, I'm pretty sure Philadelphia regrets picking. Yo, who's the kid's name, bro? I, I literally had, um, this is what I am. I'm not gonna remember. But whoever the kid that they, they pick, the dude that be having, like, arm seizures when shooting free throws. Uh, Markel Fultz. They picked Markel Fultz over Jason Tatum. Imagine if it was Jason Tatum, Tyrese Maxey, James Harden, and Joel Embiid on the same team. They win in the chip automatically. It's crazy. But yeah, man, we go get straight to the video. Like button, subscribe, or notification bell, press those. Let's go. Jason Tatum has become one of the best in the entire game. And in ESPN's top 100 ranking going into this season, they ranked Jason Tatum at number 11, which is absolutely incredible. He's clearly leader material as he led the Celtics to an Eastern Conference Finals run last season. Jason Tatum didn't emerge out of nowhere though, as throughout his entire basketball career, including his college and high school days, he was already seen as someone who would dominate in the NBA. What was his story of his rise to superstardom? We'll be looking at that today on Yo, Sports it all comes down to Before you begin, I'm it all comes guys down to right now are subscribed to the channel. Now know to push more quality um, content for you guys. It all comes down all to the fact that Missouri. As a freshman, Jason Tatum, Tatum averaged a solid 13.3 points. Should have beat the Warriors, but they was too busy committing internal Co-player of the year. As Tatum led the Red Devils to both MCC and Missouri District 2 crowns. And that was the start of something special. In his sophomore year, Tatum averaged a ridiculous 26 points and 11 oh, rebounds. Get off me. And then in his junior year, he took things to a whole nother level, which I didn't even know how that was possible. But in his junior year, Tatum averaged 25.9 points, 11.7 rebounds, and 3.4 assists per game and earned the second team Naismith Trophy All-American honors, which is one of the Ooh, most get prestigious off. That crossover was wicked. In that same summer of 2015, Tatum joined the St. Louis Eagles AAU team on the Nike Elite Youth Basketball League circuit, which was incredibly competitive. Tatum led the team through the championship game after an incredible buzzer beater game winner against Team CP3 and future college teammate Harry Giles. In the My finals, boy, however, Giles despite Tatum third. putting up insane numbers, it wasn't enough as the Eagles lost to the Georgia Stars with future top 10 pick in Wendell Carter Jr. Despite uh, the disappointing got end, Tatum was still phenomenal during the circuit, leading the league in scoring with 26.5 points per game and 9.5 rebounds per game. Tatum was already getting offers from Duke, Kentucky, and UNC, all being elite college teams. Prior to his senior year, Tatum made a verbal commitment to Duke and joined Coach K there. He absolutely balled out in his final year and was one of the best players in the nation. Tatum was a five-star recruit and ranked three in the entire nation, wow. behind Kansas' Josh Jackson and fellow Duke teammate Harry Giles. It's to go crazy, along with that, like, Tatum was named the 2016 you know, I, I, I was rated number four in that year. class. Just That's because like I had an ankle young, injury, already and then they brought me back resume. up to number one. Jason Tatum had to miss the first I, eight I games like of his Duke career due to a foot recruit. injury, but on December 3rd, 2016, Tatum finally made his college debut, putting up a modest 10 points and 94-55 to 55 win against Maine. On December 12, 2016, Tatum was named to the ACC Freshman of the Week, and two months later, on February 13th, 2016, ACC Freshman of the Week, and two months later, on February 13th, 2016, Tatum was once again named the ACC Number 50, the you're trash, bro! The Blue Devils to the fifth seed in the ACC tournament and led Duke all the way to the championship game, where Tatum was able to get the job done this time, dropping now he did a finger roll, layup dunk on him, and securing the ACC tournament championship title. Tatum and Duke beat some tough teams in their run, including Louisville and rivals North Carolina. I don't even know what number that was. All ACC tournament team all averaging 22 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 1.5 steals. Duke landed the second seed in the NCAA double tournament, but in typical Duke fashion, they fell early, this time in the second round to South Carolina. Nonetheless, Tatum was great, averaging 16.5 points and 7.5 rebounds. In his entire freshman year, Tatum played in 29 games and averaged 16.8 points, 7.3 rebounds, 2.1 assists, 
1.3 steals and 1.1 blocks, 45% bro. from the field. Yeah, I know in my first, three, in my first season, 85% from the line. Um, After when I played year, for, for Syracuse, he had opted to go directly uh, I was dropping 67 NBA points, draft as a one 48 player. rebounds, 59 assists, uh, assists, the Boston uh, 97 Celtics had the first from the field. overall pick. But they traded down to the third overall pick to the Philadelphia 76ers in exchange for that, as well as a future first round pick from the Sacramento Kings. As soon as they traded down, Tatum was the first prospect that the Celtics practiced with, and clearly they loved him the most, as they took them with third overall selection in the 2017 NBA draft. That's Tatum was looking pretty nice in the summer league, making the all summer league second team while averaging around 18 points and 8 rebounds in both Utah and Las Vegas. As soon as Tatum entered the league, he looked like a potential star. As in his NBA right. debut, you know I'm saying? Tatum dropped steel a double, double steel. with 14 points. We used to practice against each other. And I'm like, really? yo, you got to toughen up, bro. You going to get out in the league. You know what I'm saying? You got to cook. Which gave Tatum a much larger oh, role, which he capitalized that. on. After starting the season 0-2, Boston would go on to win the next 16 games, and Tatum was great in those Gordon games. Gordon Hayward's like Averaging a nice 14.3 points in the streak and gave the Celtics new life after Hayward was confirmed out for the year. The Celtics would go on to finish the season with 55 wins, placing them second in the Eastern Conference behind the Toronto Raptors. Tatum averaged a solid 13.9 points, 5 rebounds, and 1.6 assists on 48% from the field and a ridiculous 43% from three. The Celtics were looking like they could take the Eastern Conference as LeBron and the Cavs were weaker than ever, the Raptors were still in their choking ways, and the Sixers were still inexperienced. But on April 5th, 2018, it was reported that Kyrie Irving, their leader and led them to their current record, was confirmed out for the rest of the season and playoffs as he needed knee surgery. So it was thought that the Celtics season was pretty much over at that point. Ah, but then my boy took over. Thought. The Celtics would go on to beat the Bucks in, with Giannis in seven games, and in the second round, easily dismantle the Sixers in five, and advance to the Eastern Conference Finals to take on LeBron and the defending Eastern Conference champion Cavaliers. It was a tough series, but in the end, LeBron did LeBron stuff, and the Cavs beat Boston in an amazing seven-game series to advance to the finals where the Warriors swept them. But nonetheless, it was still such a great run for the Celtics, and Tatum was phenomenal throughout the playoffs. In Game 7, Tatum put the league on notice when he postered LeBron in a big moment. LeBron, don't you ever in your life try to block my dunk, bro. What are you doing, LeBron? I don't care if you are the all-time leading scorer. When he postered LeBron in the big moment. In those you caught an elbow to the throat for trying to play defense. He had the rookie record for most 20-point games in the playoff. <laughs> LeBron looking like, all right, but games. I still beat y'all. I'm Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And after the Game 7 loss, where Tatum put up 24 points, LeBron said that Tatum was built for stardom. With LeBron of the East and the Celtics with a young core, but a very good core, along with a healthy Kyrie and Hayward, they were supposed to rule the East for years. And in the cinematic masterpiece, that is Game of Zones, Pop was quoted as saying, Spurs of the East. Tatum was supposed to take that second year leap, and he failed. Most of it was on the team and how it was built, but part of it had to be put on Tatum. He took ridiculous shots and long twos that should have been threes. He shot the ball poor this year with 45% from the, the field the and thing only 37% from the field. Yeah, you um, know. Now, although those splits, a lot of people blame Kobe for this. Like it's like, how could you blame Kobe? Like all he was doing was teaching them. Long story short, Jason Tatum had been working out with Kobe, and Kobe had been showing them like. Basically, he was wasting moves like he was driving left when he would should have dro drove straight to the basket. Just stuff like that, like working on his footwork. And um, indirectly, they tried to say like, yo, Kobe messed his game up. It's so like, good. no, he didn't, fam. They're worse than his rookie year. And like I mentioned before, his bad shot selections forced his drop in production. From a scoring perspective, Tatum did improve, averaging 15.7 points, took along with six rebounds, 2.1 assists, and 1.1 steals. Overall, the Celtics finished with the season with a 49 and 33 record, and throughout the season, they couldn't find a rhythm. They were 10 and 10 at a point, and as a Celtics fan, it just hurt to watch them. One night, they would beat the Golden State Warriors by 33 points, and another night, they would lose. They to the get ran through by the Bounce Charlotte Hornets. Second round by the Bucks, and overall, it was just an ugly season. With Kyrie being a free agent in the offseason, he opted out of his contract and joined the 76ers on a ridiculous contract. 
All those huge moves gave Tatum a much bigger role, similar to that of his rookie season playoffs. The question was whether he was- Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, The only bro. possible reason why he performed this bad was because game he didn't win, so Joel Embiid was still a problem for the Celtics, as they still had the chance to beat us. But Tatum would average 27 points in the They'll series, and us, Boston so would sweep the Sixers Celtics to advance to the second round to face another tough team in the Raptors. In a grueling seven-game series, which saw a heartbreaking- Alright, come on, bro. While Tatum dropped 23 that game. Overall, this was a tough series, and although Boston were seen as the better Denny, team, Denny took off Miami this. played as the better team, and Boston lost in six. Many leads were lost throughout the series by Boston, and although they lost, Tatum still had a great series, where he averaged 26.5 points in those six games. Although they lost, and probably would have matched up better against the Lakers in the finals, the future is was and is still looking bright for Tatum and this Boston team. So far this season, it's only been six games, and although they are only three and three. All right, so we could stop there and we could fast forward it. That, that's what I mean by like a lot of these documentaries, like I don't know what's going on, like they don't got no new ones. Long story short, Jason Tatum took over, started cooking the league. They couldn't stop him. They get to the finals and got slayed by the damn Warriors because him and Jalen Brown couldn't keep the basketball and couldn't stop committing turnovers. So I feel like they, they learned their lesson. They're going to go and I mean, they're number one right now in the league. They're going to make it to the finals. And I think that they're going to learn from the, the mistakes that they committed last year. So. Let me know what y'all thought about the video. I'm going to leave it right there. My name is Rain. Catch you on the flip side. Oh, she's going to wait for it.